Let's talk about the coming of the Christ. The first three chapters of our constitution for this race and for this people represents the coming of our Christ. If you ask me, as when political leaders who were elected to govern our country have erred in their governance and takes offense to their own, against their own, for their own selfish political reason. It is then now time for the light of all our salvation to be known. You see, any information that men and women who holds political office in our country, primarily political office. It goes for religious leaders also. But fundamentally, political office for this conversation. It is egregious for any representative of the people, representing the interests of their constituents, to hold information, potent information, that can save lives. Holding that information can also be an act of bribery. Okay? Now, let us not, let us be reasonable and sensible. The coming of the Christ statement was made by a political person, fundamentally. Bradley Roberts, former, former member of pal parliament for, for Baines and Grandstown. Okay? Now, none of those men, as rich as they might be tonight, is greater or richer than the Bahamian 242 Constitution. I want them to know this through a comprehensive enlightenment tonight. This country belongs to its sovereign inheritors, the sovereign inheritors plus sovereign successors, sovereign successors of this country. The Constitution is the supreme law of our land. This state, the Bahamas, this commonwealth of islands, we have a commonwealth that we're not sharing in, that men like Bradley Roberts, men like Franklin Wilson, men like the Prime Minister, Perry Gladstone Christie, men like the former Prime Minister, Hubert Ale Alexander Ingram, and their collective governing, governing cabinet of their terms have benefited. The family, friends, and lovers, that's a fact. Pardon the pun. It is absolutely egregious relative to the starvation, relative to how much men are home unemployed? How many families' cupboards tonight are empty? Let this be known to the world. I am proud to be a sovereign inheritor and successor of everything that the Most High the Holy One of Israel has given unto me. Yah Aronai. His spirit reign forever. Number GE. The sovereign king of this little rock. This nation reigns on merit, 
alone we will be speaking about the greatness of my accomplishments, General Electric. Let it be known.